a visit to Cambridge. In this narrative, the writer Firdaus Kanga describes his meeting with Professor Stephen Hawking, the famous astrophysicist. When he was visiting Cambridge, UK, Firdaus Kanga visited Professor Hawking at his home. Professor Hawking could only move his fingers slightly and used a motorized wheelchair to move about. He tapped a switch that selected the words he wanted to use and a voice synthesizer read out the words in a mechanical voice. Watching him, Mr. Kanga felt both inspired and relieved. If Professor Hawking could achieve so much despite being trapped in his unresponsive body, Mr. Kanga could also aim higher. He felt more able in comparison. He felt guilty asking questions because he saw Professor Hawking struggling to find the right words on his computer to express himself. Professor Hawking told Mr. Kanga that he had no choice but to face his situation bravely. Professor Hawking did not like it when people pitied him or patronized him. He believed that there were no advantages of being disabled. However, he agreed with Mr. Kanga that disability brought out the kindness in people. He believed that people with disabilities should focus on their strengths rather than participate in the Paralympic Games. Mr. Kanga felt overwhelmed when the meeting ended because he had idolized Professor Hawking all his life. After meeting Professor Hawking, Mr. Kanga felt contented that he had reached his destination for now.